All right, time to finally conclude What the Fucktober with Tokyo Gore Police, the directorial debut of Yoshishiro Nishimura, who, if you remember, was one of the co-directors of Mew and Girl Squad, and has previously worked on many Japanese splatter films, mainly as a makeup and special effect artist, allowing him to be responsible for making some of the most over-the-top and grotesque moments in Japanese cinema. So let's see what it's like when he's in full command. Now, unlike the many things I've covered so far in What the Fucktober, I highly recommend everyone to check out this movie. Sure, it's definitely What the Fuck worthy, with its very dark and odd sense of humor, absolutely grotesque mutants and bloodshed, however that combined with the unique setting, awesome special effects, and just pure creativity, this is definitely something I just can't help but recommend. But now would be a good time to actually tell you guys what this movie's all about. Tokyo Gore Police takes place in a grim, futuristic Tokyo, where a mad scientist known as the Key Man creates mutants known as the Engineered. With these engineered terrorizing Japan, the police decided to make a subunit specifically meant for hunting down and destroying the Engineered, which introduces us to our lead character, Ruka, a badass loner within this police unit who also has her own agenda, which is to find and kill her father's assassin. And with that, the gory mutant carnage begins. Again, the special effects here are amazing, which for the most part are all practical with CG only being used when it really needs to be. And holy crap, some of these engineered designs are just fucking crazy. I mean, we have snail girls, guys with literal dick cannons, a girl whose entire lower half is an alligator, there's even a fucking chair made of flesh that somehow has this magic piss? It's all just so fucking crazy and combined with the stylized action, insane amounts of blood, and a couple very awkward boners. This really does feel like a live-action equivalent to one of the hardcore OVA series from the 80s and early 90s. Which, you know what, that's probably the best way to describe this whole movie. It's exactly like an 80s OVA, which is why I highly recommend this movie, especially if you're looking for fountains of blood and mutant madness this Halloween. Speaking of Halloween, I hope you all have a great one, as it's time to finally wrap up What the Fucktober 2016. While I did have a couple more videos planned that I never got around to this month, I'll probably release them over the next couple months, or maybe even next What the Fucktober. This month was just one hell of a ride and I had a great time doing it. Hope you guys did too and in the comment section down below tell me what you thought was the most what the fuck thing I covered this what the fuck over. And see you guys soon when I could finally make a normal video for once. It feel like it's been such a long time.